Hey everybody, Rookie of Handicapping, Thoroughbred Racing on Friday afternoon, October the 7th. This is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Major Track Report. Let's go to beautiful Belmont Park first for race 6, 3.40 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Seven furlong sprint on the dirt track. Three-year-olds and up race for a maiden special weight purse of some $50,000. Contenders number four, Simbamangu, number one, Fala, number six, Light Up the Score, and number eight, Trouble and Dodge. Number four, Simbamangu, the overall speed and pace profile later in this maiden field. Sprinting at today's specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt has produced power run performances, facing better company in each of his last five starts. Goes to the post with the skills of the jockey trainer tandem of Ramon Dominguez and Barclay Tag in this corner. They've hit the board with 59% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Number one, Fala, the morning line favorite, takes a class drop of eight track master units, comes off a power run show, finishing his last start. Facing better company, it's out of the Spitestown lineage. His progeny have hit the board in 51% of more than 2,100 combined lifetime starts to date. For your information, folks, Spitestown also qualifies for my three-star sires list. If you'd like a description of the rigid rules that I employ to make this list, kindly, kindly send me an email. And yes, the list and the rules are indeed free. Race 6 summary, number 4, Simbam Gu, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 1, Fala. Number 6, Light Up the Score, and number 8, Trouble and Dodge, 4168. In Race 6 from Belmont Park, Classy Keeneland opening today. Kentucky race 8, 5.13 p.m. Eastern Post Time. For the Phoenix Stakes, six furlongs on the cushion dirt track, grade 3, three-year-olds and up race 4. A purse is some $175,000. Contenders number 6, Aconite. Number 3, Hamzing Destiny. Number 1, Flashpoint. And number 5, Sterling. Outlook. Number six, Aconite, the overall speed leader in the stakes field, sprinting at today's distance of six furlongs on the cushion dirt, has produced a quartet of power runs in his last five, hitting the board in three of those efforts, including back to back power run wins in his fourth and fifth races back. Jockey Johnny Velasquez and trainer Todd Pletcher send them to the post. They've hit the board with 57% of more than 400 entries saddled as a team to date. Number three, Amazing Destiny, takes a class drop of five track master units, is also turned in four power runs in his last five respective outings, hitting the board in three, including a power run win in his fifth race back. Race eight, summary, number six, Aconite, tops my contenders list, which also includes number three, Amazing Destiny, number one, Flashpoint, and number five, Sterling Outlook, 6315 in the eighth from Keeneland, the $175,000 grade three, Phoenix Stakes. Bonus long shots, let's go to Charlestown first, race eight, number five, Evening Concerto, four to one in the morning line, takes a class drop of six units, is the overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at seven furlongs on the dirt. Finger Lakes race course, race eight, the 15 to one bomb, number four, Juno Luska. Takes a class drop of three track master units, the overall speed leader in this allowance field, racing at or about today's distance of a mile and 70 yards on the dirt. So handicapping from both Belmont Park and Keeneland on a Friday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.